YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the Radar for Ratchet Studios. What up, Mox? Guys, Monday Night Raw just finished up. It's a horrible, horrible edition for a go home from for WrestleMania of all of all <sighs> pay per views. You already you came into this expecting WrestleMania to be absolute like not garbage, but just be super disappointing. And you left yeah. this Monday Night Raw feeling even worse about it, if that's even yes. possible. At least from the Raw yeah. side of things, it was super uneventful, super yeah. like no uh, nothing behind this episode of Raw. Yeah. It's not a good Raw. That's a key word, just uneventful, nothing, there's no excitement towards this mania on yeah. the raw side, really at all, and throughout the entire car, really, just, ugh, not great. To be honest with you, the hottest thing coming out of this whole entire Monday Night Raw is the Bad Bunny stuff. They decided to fix the match, where we thought it was going to be a singles, now will not yeah. be a singles, that's their only takeaway of the show, so we'll get to that when it happens, but overall, Monday Night Raw was pretty bad, uh, not excited whatsoever for mm. WrestleMania, especially from the Raw side of things. So let's mm. get into it with the one takeaway that we have. But before we do it, I'm gonna drop a like and a comment on this video. Comment down below how much you hate Raw right now, how bad you think Raw is, how bad the bills from Raw's side have been towards WrestleMania. Anything else in the comment section, if you wanna trash Raw or just talk whatever you want, let, let us know in the Please comment do. section. We appreciate you guys, you know, con yeah, conversating, with us, conversating with us, letting us know what you guys think of everything and all that stuff like that. You know, subscribe and not subscribe, notification, because little new videos drop, social media, the story. Let's get right into this crazy crappy edition of monday night raw which started off with drew mcintyre out in the ring talking about all mm -hmm. the stuff that's happened over the past year he's in the same spot he was last year um yep. it seems rumor is that this is going to open the show on night one because they want the women to main event night, uh, night one with Sa sasha and bianca so they might start the show off with this makes sense as to why they would do that but this yeah. match might get at the beginning of the show they have the back and forth, Lashley, MVP, and Maktar. I thought it was all right. Like, the promos between the two, they were pretty, like, um, intense between the two. And then you have Baron Corbin mm -hmm. come out, and he's obviously going to slow things down. And, yeah, this is where it gets uh, so bad. Yeah, he comes out. They're going to have a match tonight because remember, Corbin helped out Lashley last week. They're going to have a match tonight, Corbin McIntyre. Pretty much the start of the show wasn't really that much going on. No. You already know what you're going to get out of this match, so there's not much else you can do to build it. The Hurt Business breaking up is the only thing people care about right now, so I think that, that takes away from the match, the fact that people wish the Hurt Business was still a thing it takes away from this match yeah like all they did was bring baron corbin in canada to distract the fact that you just ruined the hurt business yeah. and that's really what we're more and you're taking away from the main event which we, which should be the title and it's two of the two of the best guys in the company and they, they, they don't feel as important because you're more worried about the hurt business than baron corbin being thrown in there just weakens everything um so it just not great booking going in the, the promos were solid like you said but there just there, there really isn't an excitement or urgency that that you just doesn't feel like like a big time WrestleMania championship match. I don't know. Just I, I don't know why you have two guys that, that it should feel that way, but it just doesn't feel like a big fight. It just really doesn't. Yeah, it feels pretty lackluster. I will see yeah. how it goes in. Maybe maybe you know get hype for the match. It'll be a good way to start off the show. But we'll see what happens at WrestleMania mm -hmm. Night One. Next thing on the show, AJ Styles versus Xavier Woods again from last week. Yeah. Uh, Woods gets the sneak win because you have almost kind of getting distracted by almost an AJ getting distracted by Kofi. That match is gonna happen. Obviously, we know. So this is the final build up toward it, towards it. I mean, I'm, I'm more interested to see almost Omos in the ring and see how that works out. And you know, just see AJ become a Grand Slam champion. What do they care about really here? Yeah, I mean, this didn't really add to the match. I'm not really that excited for the match. Uh, again, you just want to see uh, AJ Styles be Grand Slam champ, and it's going to be Kofi and Xavier just bouncing off of almost the entire time. So it should be interesting in, in that aspect. But, yeah, it's all about AJ, really. Yeah, so, um, you know, I'm just kind of tired, too, of the New Day and Riddle thing in the backstage before every match. I think they should yeah, be done every, with that. Every match yeah, Yeah. Next thing on the show. It's like the worst, uh, you know, going storyline in WWE <laughs> right now. It's Braun Strowman, Shane McMahon. Braun Strowman comes out. There's a steel cage already in the uh, ring. He comes and cuts a promo about I'm fighting for all the people that have been picked on and bullied on. It's tough to feel like like sympathy for a guy that huge like my he was bullied, yeah, right? right? So <laughs> I mean, nobody's bullying you now. So I mean, you could beat up every other no. bully that ever did. So it's it's whatever. He cut a, it was a passionate promo, but they didn't really make a ton of sense. It was kind of like who cares? Yeah. So he yeah. has a match against Elias and Jackson Riker. They feed both these guys again to Strowman for no reason whatsoever. We all know Strowman's a monster. There's no reason to continue to build him as a monster. We already know he is one. Um, him and Shane, WrestleMania. Nobody cares. The storyline okay. is terrible. It's like I'm it's tired of being match. called stupid. This cage match should have been for Apollo and uh, you know Big E, which you're gonna have like a Nigerian drum match for some odd reason. Um, so it should have been cage match for them. But this is a bad segment. Yeah, really. Just I don't. Know, this whole feud has been terrible. The stupid thing we we've, we've, we've talked about a, a million times. It's just really bad. It's childish. It's not anything intense that you want to get behind. I get the whole bullying thing, but this isn't a kids movie. You know, we just it's WrestleMania. Let's make something serious that we can get behind and really be enthralled by the by, by the action. And this is just gonna be a squash match. 
there's no how can we feel sympathy for a guy that's like seven feet tall and is jack shredded and a complete monster like who's feeling sympathy for that guy yeah it's, it's almost impossible so you can't really go that route but they're going that no. route with it so because like he can't be he cannot be a sympathetic baby face in any way shape or form unless he's facing like, somebody that's the same size or bigger than him so it makes yeah, no sense even then it just doesn't make it get yeah. these hands i guess what he's about he's big big beard come on he's a monster man yeah. he's a monster amongst men jesus christ let's get to the next thing we show which was another setup for mania more build up asuka and rhea ripley teaming up after pretty much th making oscar look super weak the week before yeah. night contracts anyway she got hit in the face and she just stood on the ground laid on the ground for, for like the entire time yeah, <laughs> yeah so they're taking on Shayna baszler and nia Jax, the tag team champions not for the tag team titles but whatever they're having this match um in the end ripley just beats up uh, Asuka and causes them to lose the match. So, Which I mean, is it, is, it is what it is. This pretty much match is all about uh, taking the belt off of Asuka and yeah. ending her lackluster title run, giving it to Rhea Ripley as the next megastar. That's pretty much all this is. Then you get n news afterwards that they're going to be in a, a tag team turmoil match night Which, one duh. with a bunch of women. You got the Rise Squad, Mandy, Dana. You have uh, Natalia and Tamina. And then you have um, Lana and Naomi. Whoever wins yeah. that faces Jackson Baszler night two. Matches we don't care about. Matches that nope. aren't going to be that great. Probably not have a lot of time either. Giving them a lot of time. So they may be quick and rushed. Uh, but this is all yeah. there is here. So this is all about Rhea Ripley taking the title away from Asuka. And having Rhea Ripley hopefully get on a run and, and make the title important again. Well, yeah. I like the fact that she, you know, there's no reason why they should be working together or even be friendly in the match. It really, the, 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 it means nothing to them. The whole thing was to get Rhea attacking yeah. Asuka. I liked it. I thought it was good. Um not that I'm super excited for the match. I'm more excited just for Rhea Ripley to see her get crowned and become champ and really take her next, you know, take the rocket ship and go be become a, a star. Yeah, definitely what we think is going to happen. She'll probably win that match. I think, you know, I think it's pretty pretty certain that she wins. Yeah. It makes us not much sense to keep the belt on Oscar anymore. Next thing in the show, we had Cedric Alexander having a match against Bobby Lashley. Last week it was Shelton Benjamin. This week it's Cedric Alexander. And both times, they're both... They're not completely squashed, right? Mm -hmm. Both guys, Cedric and Shelton, they lose the matches, obviously. Uh, it's a point, but they're not completely squashed. Or they're not completely useless at this point. Um, I still think they can go with the big-ass swerve at WrestleMania and have the Hurt Business still be a thing. Um, but who knows? I heard Hurt Business was actually upset. Bobby and Bobby Lashley and MVP were upset at McMahon for making the call and breaking up the Hurt Business. They weren't fans of breaking them up, so they have issues there. But yeah, I'm not sure who was. Yeah, Doesn't I don't think I mean, who would be a fan of it. But Alexander gets, loses, but he looks good in the loss. So does Shelton Benjamin yeah. the week before. So it's fine for what it is that they're going to continue to use Shelton and Cedric in a tag team capacity in the future. So that's pretty much all this was here. I mean, just... The whole thing just feels very just overbooked, overthought. It was it was simple. It would have been easy, and it made, made a bunch of sense just for the Hurt Business to be making Drew McIntyre's life miserable going into Mania. Yeah. Instead of throwing Baron Corbin, who, who's on SmackDown anyway, coming in, and now he's on Raw, and just why is he the guy when you just when you had these two guys who people care more about and are more involved and are more of a threat to Drew McIntyre than Baron Corbin is at the moment. It just it it feels this. I don't know what the hell Vince was thinking or whoever really booked this to, to, to make it happen, but it's just for no reason overbooked. It's just overthought. Just it was it was all right there written for a year and you just kind of ruined it. Yeah. But let's get to the most important thing that happened on this crappy ass edition of Monday Night Raw. And it was Damian Priest and uh, Bad Bunny showing up in Bad yeah. Bunny's like three point six million dollar according to them. Bugatti. He comes Bugatti. out. They show up there, leave it there like nothing. The garage door open, everything. They come in, they're gonna they're gonna talk. Uh but then you have Mr. Morrison show up with paint cans. They 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 vandalize the whole thing, the whole car. <laughs> oh the nice little signature. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Um, with paint which is pretty crazy um mm -hmm. you know and then you have bad bunny showing up later upset about it. he gets attacked by miz and morse and they beat him up they throw him over a car oh, oh my god it, miz and morse and attacking bad bunny from behind uh, he's beat up. Here comes Damian Priest to help him out, but Miz and Morrison are gone. They get in the ring. They give Bad Bunny a long promo, which probably wasn't the best idea. No, um, it should have been should have been shorter should have been sweeter a lot of it was in spanish um so you know if you don't speak spanish you don't understand it you know I, we were able to understand it but if you don't speak spanish you don't understand yeah. it so it, it is what it is but takeaway number one and it's because you see the match behind us they decided to make a tag team match which they should have done from the outset with making a tag team nobody really wanted to see miz and more and, and bad bunny in a one-on-one -on -one, but now we're gonna get the tag team match that should have happened or should have been from the beginning it's smart decision i don't know if there's an injury issue as to why it was taking them so long to book this match as a tag team or they just wanted to get to this point they could have done mm -hmm. it earlier right like it didn't have to be like the night the, the week yeah. of so we're gonna get the tag team match smart decision bad bunny will get obviously carried by priest in the match and priest do majority of, of the work that's pretty much all there is to it it's the smartest thing for him to do and it was the biggest thing on monday night raw 
Yeah, surprisingly, Bad Bunny and Damian Priest and Miz and Morrison are the, are the most excited thing from, from the Raw side going yeah. into Mania for some reason. Who would have thought that a couple months ago? But it, it is what it is. Um, yeah, we all knew it was going to be a tag team match. It just made the most sense. There's no way anybody wanted to see the Miz versus Bad Bunny on a singles match. It would never made any sense. And the fact is, Bad Bunny's gone after WrestleMania, most likely. So you got your, your star here is Priest. You're building a, like a young guy, so it always made sense to just have Priest shine at Mania and Bad Bunny get the rub from the famous thing. People look, you know, bringing in the eyeballs from, around, from different aspects of the world to go and look at Priest. That's, so it just it made sense. It was going to happen. And for some reason, this match, I'm excited for. I don't, don't know why, but I'm excited for it. Yeah, I'm excited to see Bad Bunny kind of just performing here, see how everything comes out in this because yeah. he's been training. So I want to see it because he seems to be taking it seriously from what I hear from well, Triple, from Triple yeah. H saying that Omos and Bad Bunny are really working hard in the Performance Center. So we could see mm-hmm. them actually, you know, surprise us and actually be pretty decent, um, you know, akin to like a Stephen Amell or a Ronda Rousey type like that performance yeah. from somebody, an outsider. All right, next thing on the show was Riddle versus Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali, I'm sorry. And the biggest thing about this match was the birds that popped out during uh, Riddle's <laughs> entrance. I don't know what you're saying. There's a timer. He's also like, oh, whoa. Let the pops fly and the birds look at him. Gets me every time. I don't understand what that story is about. Yeah, he came out of his ass. He just jumps in the ring, throws the sandals Dove's in the air, flying. and doves start flying. Whatever. I mean, he farted Skittle. Yeah, it was yeah. Legit. and then you have Sheamus on commentary. Sheamus is going to take on Riddle at uh, WrestleMania. I think Mustafa Ali is in the SmackDown battle, uh, Andre the Giant Murray Battle Royal because it's hashtag WrestleMania SmackDown. So it's basically three nights of uh, WrestleMania because you're going to have the Andre the Giant Murray Battle Royal in a tag team title like turmoil match for the tag team championships on SmackDown yeah. as well. That, so we have that. that complicated yeah so you have riddle win, getting the win here and whatever i don't know um you know i don't understand uh, the whole point is the birds is the most important thing coming out of this but um ali is just kind of there he lost and he's going to be meandering around the mid card for a while so and then we haven't seen retribution even though retribution's on the card or, or the promo card for that andrew jet more battle royal still as retribution still slapjack mace and t-bar so i don't know maybe they come out different who knows I don't know. Like, they, no one cares. That's just filler. I mean, keep moving. Yeah, no one cares. Nobody cares. Next thing on the show is the Drew McIntyre right. versus Baron Corbin. They got a lot of time in this match, and it was a solid match. I mean, Baron Corbin's, you know, he's he's, he's, he's serviceable in the ring, works better with bigger guys, yeah. so he's another guy with equal size. Mm-hmm. Pretty much MVP was on commentary to kind of just sell the reason why this match was happening. He wants Baron Corbin to take out McIntyre so that it's an easier shot for um, Lashley. But McIntyre wins in the end. And that's all there is to it. I mean, you have the face down at the end between McIntyre and Lashley, and that's and, it. We're going and, to main event. The almighty WWE Champion, Bobby Lashley. And not really even a face down, because Bobby was at the at the entrance and Drew was in the ring. Uh, yeah, this is one of the most. Listen, I'm excited for the because it's the two guys in the ring, right? But the the, the whole storyline going in. It's just, it's not there for me. I'm not excited about yeah. the, it doesn't feel big. It doesn't feel special. It doesn't feel like WrestleMania. This is the, the, the WWE Championship, not the Universal title, the WWE Championship. It should be in a bigger place. It should feel more important. Uh, this is Drew's chance to finally win the title in front of a crowd because it got sold up from him last year. So, you know, it just, but it doesn't feel like that. It just feels, I don't know. I can't get behind it. I don't think a lot of people are, are really that excited about it. You can write in the comments to see if you're excited about it, but um, I don't know. It doesn't feel like it just doesn't feel like mania. I don't know why. This is mania is a week, not even six days away, five days away. It just it doesn't feel like that. Yeah, it th- doesn't feel good. I don't want Lashley to lose it either. I think they should have had Lashley as a champion maybe earlier. If they're yeah, going to yeah. swap it off now because he's built such a monster. That make a lot of sense for Lashley to lose it. But guys, that's a review. A terrible edition of Monday Night Raw. Let us know in the comment section below how bad you thought this Raw was, how unexcited you are for WrestleMania, and how excited so you are for NXT sure. TakeOver. So make sure you, you know let Damn, us know in the comment really section. Really. Now for WrestleMania, I have uh, hopefully two live streams planned Saturday, uh, 12 p.m., you know, afternoon and then Sunday, 12 p.m. afternoon, uh, midday Eastern time, so we can get predictions and have a round table. I plan on having a lot of people in there. So uh, make sure you tune into that. I'm still working out the kinks and everything, scheduling everything up. So make sure you tune into that one. That's your review. Let yep. us in the comment section what you guys thought of Raw and the build to WrestleMania. And if it doesn't work for Brett, not the job. Later, Marks. <laughs>